right away in the pre-shuffle, you guys, um, love call and talking came out. So there's obviously an energy here. Somebody wants to speak to you. This could be somebody new, could be someone old. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see what comes out if or if this energy may come out at all. Um, yeah. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad that you made it, okay? Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. Thank you for your donations, your, your likes, and subscribes, and however else. And if you're a Patreon member, thank you. If you haven't joined us on Patreon, feel free to go over there. That's where we do our twin flame monthly reading for every zodiac sign. And that's where we do a divine masculine and a divine feminine energy reading every month. So let's see, what does the collective need to know right now, please? Okay, so this person that wants to talk, you know who it is. <laughs> the first card out was, I miss you. Please forgive me. Okay. So this is somebody here who, who in the past rather do the healing work, rather do whatever it took to either fight for the connection and I really feel like it's not really in a sense all about fighting for the connection you guys collective I really feel like this person like had some healing and some work to do on themselves that they just they just weren't ready they just were not ready okay so and this person wants you to unblock them so they do want to call and talk with you um and listen I feel like for some of you guys you're not going to answer their calls you're not going to unblock this person this is your choice this is totally up to you and this person knows that this is your choice and it's all up to you some of you guys this person could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn an earth sign here yeah see see this person was have, there, there's third party energy here so for some of you all this person definitely either wasn't ready for commitment or they, they have you know multiple people um, like I said, I feel like there was some healing and some growing up and maturing that this person needs to do. They definitely need, or you could be an earth sign too, right? Um, but the communication between you and this person was not very great, okay? Um, you could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is popping out here. Yeah. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, see, exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. You held this person accountable you tr you saw things you tried to discuss things with this person like an adult a mature adult and this person literally just couldn't handle that they weren't ready to grow like i said mm, no they weren't ready to grow okay you tried holding this person accountable here you held a mirror up to their face and they were not they were refusing to believe or that it was them so for some of you all this person could have been like victim they had like a self victimized like they could have victimized themselves right i mean like they it was always somebody else's fault energy okay yep reflection ref, this mirror energy just came out in reverse okay so that is telling me literally like you saw some things in this person that they didn't see in themselves collective okay this person refused to do the introspection they refused to do the inner work all right, let's see what else do we have here. Yeah, there's some third-party energy here. For some of y'all, somebody here is married or, you know, or deaf. Uh oh, what was that fell on the floor? Hold on. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Just drop a card. Okay. Yeah, third-party energy. Look at this. Seduction and wedding rings. Mm-hmm. Show me more here for the collective. The, yeah, the runner. Here goes the runner. Listening to their ego, fear of intimacy. I don't think this person had a fear of intimacy at all. Um, I, you know what? You're making better choices for yourself. Or this person may be wanting to make a better choice here. We'll see when we pull tarot. But Cupid's arrow just came out with healthy choices. I really just feel like you decided that you're going to do whatever it takes for you. You know, if it meant splitting from this person, not speaking to this person, making help, being happier, being away from this person, giving yourself and showing yourself self-love, self-care, 
um, removing yourself from any sort of like toxic, I feel the toxic energy or obviously this toxic connection. I, you guys may have something else coming in here or this is the energy of you trying to keep the face and distancing yourself from some devil energy. Um, yeah. So you're going to keep the faith that something more, something healthier is going to come in for you. You believe that. Okay. Show me here for the collective in this situation, please. I was hoping we could talk about something other than love and look at what just came out. The two of cups. But... And it's a past person. There goes that judgment energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, judgment, Scorpio energy. So there's a decision to make here for swords. There's a see you're healing, right? Either this is you. We're we're gonna see though. Give me another card. So whoever this is, they're healing doing self-evaluation, actually doing the work, like I said, making healthier choices, especially with the four swords and the judgment card being here. That's exactly what that energy is. Either you're calling in two of cups energy, a new healthier connection, the empress you are, you are. You're doing the best that you can because this, this empress came out crossing. I feel like you're doing the best that you can. It's been a little difficult. The number 44 could be this. You're holding on to some something here. I don't know what it is you're holding on to here, but you're going to get your justice, okay? Oh, I just saw the Knight of Swords wanted to pop out. So, can we clarify this Two of Cups, please? Is this new or old? Two of Cups. The Wheel. Could be something new. Let's see. The Wheel. So, this is... Show me more on the Two of Cups. Could be a Taurus or, or dealing with a Gemini. You're manifesting something new. You're manifesting something new. The wheel and the magician. Clear, this is clarified by the Two of Cups. Judgment. So if you identify as the Empress here, this is you looking back, thinking about what occurred, right? Making healthier choices for yourself to not put yourself in this you know, other energy with this other person and this third party. Making better choices, making better decisions. And the wheel is turning in your favor. There's some form of a connection coming in with this two of cups. The wheel is about good karma. It's about moving forward, um, you know, manifesting something coming in with this Gemini energy. Yeah, you've got some sort of good news coming in here with the page of wands. This is something that you're actually going to be very excited about. This is you're definitely going to be excited about this here. So show me, show me more on this Empress, please. Show me the Empress energy. You're definitely going to be excited about it. Yeah, see, I told you you're having a difficult time. We're, we're clarifying the Empress and the Five of Pentacles. You're you're having a difficult time. Some of y'all may even be feeling a little bit lonely at times. And that's okay because, you know, sometimes when you have to make different decisions, it's not easy, right? The, being the Empress, in the Empress energy, your true essence, right? So it can sometimes be a lonely journey, you know? It could be a difficult journey. Not accepting bullshit. You'll figure it out, though. You'll figure it out. But this past person, though, I just want you to know, um, I do feel like you're disappointed in this person with the Four of Cups and the Knight of Wands, okay? You're disappointed in this person's behavior here, or this person is disappointed in their behavior. Like, <laughs> they're disappointed in, in being in this Knight of Wands energy. For some of you all, that's exactly what it is. They're disappointed in them the playing games, being a player, putting you in third party, um, someone here may have some abandonment issues. You may have some abandonment issues that need to be addressing. However, I feel like you actually are in the energy of healing that and addressing that. So good for you. Okay. I just feel like, you know, you, you all were hurt by being juggled. Um, or it hurt you when you found out that you were being juggled for some of you all. It hurt you that this person could not make a decision. Um, it was just kind of wishy-washy in and out, back and forth. Uh, and didn't commit and give you what you deserve. Show me more on the Empress. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Six of Pentacles. You know what you deserve. You know what you you wanted, right? You wanted this equal give and take. Show me more on the Empress. The world. 
Yeah, your the world just came out crossing, so this was a challenge here. And like I, I, I mean, I literally just said, spirit is that's exactly what this is. There was a challenge with you getting equal give and take or being juggled with somebody else. And so it was difficult for you to walk away from this and end this. For some of you all, there could be some distance between you and this person here. But nonetheless, it looks like you're, you're closing the cycle out with this person. It may have been difficult, though. Like, very, I know it was challenging. So show me this um, masculine's energy, please. Show me the masculine's energy. The person from the past, please. Nine of Wands. Show me the past person's energy. Nine of Pentacles. Two, there they go again with that juggling. Ah, Page of Cups. Okay, for some of you guys, this person wants to come towards you and work on things. Okay. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom of the deck. For some of you all, this is what this person, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the uh, Page of Cups. They want to come towards you, maybe travel towards you. There could be some distance between you and this person here. I feel like, you know, they're going to come towards you and say they're single. They want to fight for something, um, you know, and you're not... You're not with it. You could be born in 1999 here. We have 99 nine here. But the two of pentacles just came back out with the seven of swords. So it's like, even if this person comes back towards you and they're now newly single and they express that to you, I still feel like there's still a juggling act going on here. And this person's still lying and deceiving you. Or this could be how you feel. Like, are you still lying and deceiving me? Because I'm not going to continue to go through that cycle anymore. I don't want to, I'm not going to play that game here this so this could be you guarded and skeptical and say no i'd rather stay single right then allow you to have me in the seven of swords and juggling energy no 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 so just be mindful that yeah this person does want to talk <laughs> they want to work on things but <sighs> yeah um i don't know what i want to do i want to get I wanted to get some, here let's do this, I don't know what I need with that other deck, show me more here about this situation between, yeah for some of you guys this person is going to pop up unexpectedly or they're going to call you or get, you're going to receive a text message or a phone call or like I said they may pop up and travel towards you. Um, yeah, see, I, this part of person's up late at night thinking about you. I'm telling you, there's definitely some form of, like, forbidden situation here. This person is thinking about popping up at your house or something late at night, or they may call you. Yeah, I feel like you guys, thank you, spirit. One second. Let's see what this is. Bankrupt. Friend support drama so this person is going through some form of drama right now for some of you all this person could be going through money financial issues uh oh financial issues definitely some form of drama with this other person that they're dealing with and this person is like talking to their friends trying to figure out what they could do uh, to get themselves out of the situation that they created that they created you know, I feel like this is you building a seed for your own life, for your own self, right? Planting a seed and, and, and getting ready to grow. And this could also be this person wanting to come back to you and, and plant a seed with you too. But just be careful with that energy, you guys. Seriously. Let's see. For some of you all, this person is watching you. You know what I'm gonna say here? This person has not moved on because moved moved on just came out in reverse. Like this person is not able to let you go. But when this person did have this, I still feel like this person's gonna come back towards you and either still be hiding something here, or when this person did cheat on you or got caught, or when you realize this, this person acted like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, collective. I didn't I didn't do that or I didn't say that or he didn't cheat and she whatever like this person acted like they didn't do anything wrong when they did do something wrong decision 
I've made up my mind. I'm not wasting any more time and fear. So this person is trying to let go of their fears and their limitations so they can come back towards you and make a decision. But again, be careful with that because look, yeah, fake smile. I mean, could this person be faking that they're happy right now? Yeah, sure, but I don't feel like this. that's that energy here. I feel like the energy here is... <sighs> that you don't trust them don't trust this person okay look at that the six of wands came out i mean six of swords came out again this person wants to come back towards you you know what i feel like this person's friends is encouraging your person to travel towards you yeah this person's getting ready to come towards you like i said for some of you all it's a pop-up at your house for others of you, this could be a phone call, a text message or something. I think that you're going to be surprised. You're not going to be... I don't think you're surprised that this person is like circling the block. I mean, I just think either A, you might have this person blocked or you're just really not interested in it. Yeah, you set boundaries. Queen of Swords. You made a decision. I feel like you made a decision here. Don't clarify this eight of wands and the six of swords, please. Clarify this. The ten of cups. So this person is happy with you. They feel like you are their happiness here. What is this? Well, then what are this person's intentions when they come back towards the collective? Oh, to reveal something to you. The, the Ten of Cups, in the, uh, you could be dealing with a Leo. You don't have to be. They want to reunite with you. Ten of Cups in the Sun. Hmm. Clarify the Sun. Oh, they're not confused anymore. Seven of Cups in Reverse. Hmm. This took a turn. So that could have been your energy earlier, feeling like, no, I don't want to, I'd rather stay single. I don't trust that I'm not going to be juggled again. I don't trust that you've grown. I don't trust that you're ready for what I'm ready for. You did too much dirt to me. I, I'm not ready to forgive you. Or maybe you have forgiven this person and you're just ready to move on. Um, this, this seven of cups, I mean, this person's not confused anymore. What are this person's intentions towards my collective? Nine of swords. This person can't sleep at night and they are tired. They're, yeah, this person can't take this anymore. Bottom of the deck again is the Page of Cups. I'm telling you. They're sad that you walked away from them. They are. They want to come back towards you and apologize or make some sort of love offer here. But like I said, this person is ready to come out of the fears or whatever it is. They definitely can't move on from you. They um, are just having a hard time sleeping at night. This person um, is thinking about you all the time. They fall asleep. They're dreaming about you. I mean, this makes total sense with the Seven of Cups, seven of cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords upright with the knight of swords like this person's like i can't take this anymore i'm um, just so for some of y'all somebody's like throwing on their clothes or just like doing something so um what's the word like you know just it's quick it's quick that's all i can say but they're worried if you're still they're concerned they think maybe like you don't love them anymore or they're concerned the, whether or not you're still in love with them or will you reject them you know Show me more here for the collective. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person, the sex between you and this person was amazing. There goes that confusion again. You may have been confused because sex was just like clouding your brain and your judgment. So you had to set boundaries with this person. You know, you, you, you had enough. You, so for some of you all, this person distracted you from something else that you were supposed to be doing at the time, whether that was you working on a special project, you, uh, you know, making some sort of career goal or whatever it is. I feel like this person definitely distracted you because <laughs> ecstasy is here and lusting is here. 
So there was like no commit. There was no commitment here whatsoever, but there was a lot of great sex. Look at this soulmates, open heart, deep love. Let me see if this is new. Hold on a second. Y'all see this? Soulmates and open heart. This feels different. I don't know. Hmm. Show me more of the soulmate energy, the open heart. Now, this person definitely could be a soulmate. Um, you know, like two of cups is here. Doesn't have to be. Uh oh. Karma, consequences. So, this person is getting karma and going through all this drama. Yeah, they're getting karma right now. And they're hoping that they come back towards you, that you're going to be vulnerable with them. Do you still love them, right? Like I said earlier, they still feel a deep connection with you. Um, and they're hoping that you are receptive to listening to them. But here, here we go. Pretending, mask, exaggeration, bluff. You feel like this person is still bullshitting you. You know, you do. You do. And they might be. They might be. Second chance, reconciliation, making amends, opportunity. Yeah, this person definitely wants a second chance with you here. Um, so what's the hidden truth here? What is this person masking? Confession, unveiling and coming clean. So whatever it is that this person is masking here, they might actually be telling you the truth and getting ready to come clean with you and take the mask off. So for some of y'all, it is going to take for this person to take the mask off and be honest with you for you to give them another chance. Some of you all are not going to do that. You continue to focus on yourself. You're going to continue to grow. You're going to continue to be, uh, but I feel like this person is going to come back towards you and in a bag and have to come clean and ask you for an apology and, 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 and ask for your forgiveness here. here. All right. Somebody here is definitely getting clarity that, that they put themselves in this situation. It's like they're getting, because of the karma that they're going through, they're going through a lot of drama and karma in their own life. And maybe for some of you all, even some financial issues. And now this person's like, damn, I should have just been honest. My intentions weren't good. You know, I was wearing this mask. I was pretending, doing whatever, you know, I wasn't honest. And... This could also be you realizing, like, I don't want to be in another repeated karmic cycle with somebody. I'm, I'm willing to learn my karmic lessons and close the cycle out and move on and move on. So what clarity is this person giving? All right. We have that they can't let you go. Yeah. The clarity that this person is getting is that they can't take it anymore. Like I said, right? With that nine of swords energy and that nine of swords energy, they cannot take it anymore. All they do is think about you with the memories energy here and clinging and holding on obsessively spying and maybe watching you. Um, everything is just so bittersweet here. This person is like literally really going to lose their shit. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, you're exhausted. You're so sick of this person. I'm telling you, or this person is sick of, sick of some, <sighs> boy, somebody here is getting ready to escape and run from a third party or someone here is exhausted with a third party, or this is you being exhausted with a third party situation or dealing with somebody else that is just hiding things and keeping secrets and concealing things. Um, there, somebody here is hiding facts. Be mindful of that. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that the energy of them not hiding facts anymore is not going to come out because it will because the confession energy is here. So just know if this person comes back towards you and you don't get a confession, they're, they're, they're still holding something back from you, right? They're still not being honest. So just trust your intuition and trust your intuition. <laughs> Let's get you some advice because that is... What's the advice here for the collective, please? Hmm... for the collective. I feel
feel like you're gonna be disappointed. <clears throat> yeah, you're gonna be disappointed, dude. Ten, ten of Swords on the on the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. It's like this person's gonna want to come back, rush back towards you, have a new a new passion and beginning, and it's have maybe even have great sex by right. But I feel like they're gonna betray you still. Ace of, Ace of Wands is here, but I feel like you're going to be, this person's going to like do the same thing that they do to you again. They're going to lie to you again. They're still wearing a mask. You're going to feel some form of, you're going to regret taking this person back if you do. You know, or this person, something about this person is like going to leave you, ghost you again, or go do something else, or this person is missing an action again, just be careful with that energy, because I'm telling you, it's like they're still juggling the magician with the ten of swords, like, mm -mm. yeah, they're, yeah, I love you guys, you could be dealing with any zodiac sign here, um, majors we saw here is Leo, um, the world. Hold on a second. What else? Let me see. Gemini is here. Taurus is here. But really, this person, and then we saw earlier Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then we saw Aries, Leo, Sag, too. So, but that person could be any sign. Uh, so, hit the like button before you go, you guys. I uh, hope this reading wasn't too long. But anyway, until next time, trust your intuition and stay safe. Bye.